little big, little legs. Skinny kid with plenty. Show what's up, YouTube? It's Zite, aka Lil Red. We got NBA 2K25 news, and I'm very excited. And we got the Hall of Fame game today, and we know we repping the Bears. But before we get started, man. I just want to shout out to LD2K Chris Manning for following me back on Twitter last night. I did play him in NBA 2K24 last night, and his team destroyed ours. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I locked him up. And that just brings me a whole number topic because we're, we're obviously 2K25 is trending. For all the people that love 2K, I honestly think NBA 2K24 is really, really good. Like, I'm still playing it like it just came out yesterday. I'm still having fun. Now, I, there are some couple things before we even get into this damn. Yeah, before we get into this, I have some things that I'm going to say I want. I have about 1,400 hours on NBA 2K24. I've been playing NBA 2K since 2K10. Every single one, religiously. Like, I don't ever miss a 2K. It's my favorite video game. But that's only because I'm a diehard basketball fan. I know a lot of people want the city gone, but that's not even what I'm really worried about. Although, some of the... The servers have been kind of uh, recently, you know, we've been getting our app crashed. My friends been getting their app crashed. We've been getting lag spikes. I had to plug directly into my router. So I do think we would benefit from a smaller city. A lot of people are mad over the steals, I think. But no, I think steals are perfectly balanced. In fact, sometimes I feel like I should be getting steals when my hand like goes through the ball. But I understand. I honestly think the game's really balanced. Really. Except um, the zone defenses are ridiculous again like uh, it's just if you run zone you're probably gonna lose five out zone just wins every single time and i just want to see more you know expansion when it comes to basketball in 2k like there should be different ways to win besides just playing zone so i hope um that they fix that i think the ma the ai is way better at shooting this year i loved it bro the ais were a lot better i think the randoms wreck was a great idea now the squad wreck i think there should be two different squad wrecks like two different ways to put somebody in a lobby. If you have all five, you should only go against other people who have five. And if you have like three or only two, you should go against other teams that have that because you could get put into a, a team. For example, I only have two people to play with and now we got three random teammates and we're going against a full team of five. That is not fun. Cause then they just play two, three zone and they have really good communication and it's just, it's impossible to win. I'll think of more things, but let's get into it. Let's get into it. Oh, by the way, bro, I already know. I already know it's gonna have copyright music in it. Man, oh man. It might be able, I think YouTube said they do have a new feature to cut it out. Let's just uh, skip the Celtics thing. I don't care about the Celtics, man. Whippy! Where's Harden? Oh, that's crazy. They're not gonna put Harden in here? Wow. 900 new animations. Well, that's the first thing I noticed. 9,000 new anim- 9,000? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be on this thing for 2,000 hours. I love my animations. Um, More pro play? We've been saying year two pro play is gonna get a lot better. I love pro play. Okay, Jamal looks a lot better. Dribble like. With new dribble engine? Huh? New dribble engine? That sounds fire. Okay. Precise stops and explosive launches? Ooh, ooh that shoe looks crispy. Look at it. Gloss. All right, yeah, I know people are going to say I'm glazing, but everybody think, everybody knows I'm the ultimate glazer because I love being positive. It's about being happy. Authentic signature movement. Okay, dynamically generated motions. What is that? What does that mean? I'm not gonna lie, we turned in the volume off. All right, with new signature shoe shots. Okay, so they said new signature shots and they showed a curry beyond the back step back. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm trying to see. I know the animations. Okay, he did it. Turn behind the back. Okay, that was new. He just flipped it up. That's Tyree step back. That looked clean. Jamal Murray step back. Okay, advanced pro stick shooting. I've always I love shooting with the pro stick. So signature go to shots. Ooh, that rim looked crispy. Ooh, the rim looks nice. I like the color of the rim. I don't like it. I don't like how it's super. Or I mean, I don't know. Defend like with new defensive movement system. Yeah, you already know I'm making my 94 defense. 
Skill-based defensive cutups, tighter controls. Now, now, I remember what I didn't like about 2K24. This was broken, 2K. Please fix it. And I'm hoping this is what's going to fix it. Is when somebody backdoors you and they throw the pass, the pass will glitch them towards a certain spot. People like to call it dexing. That needs to be taken out of the game because that's not real basketball. Dexing, even though I do it just because I want to win, needs to be taken out of the game because it's not basketball. So I'm hoping... If a pass is thrown, no matter how high your pass is, it will go to the area you throw it. It will not bring this character and give him a speed boost to it. That needs to be fixed. Defensive cutoffs. So when somebody's backdooring me and I have Hall of Fame off-ball pest, 94 defense, and I have like a 70-something straight because I'm six, only 6'5", six but I should be able to cut somebody off and they should not be able to get that backdoor behind me with the pass. So I'm hoping this fixes it because we, that was a big issue. New motion styles this is a W. I love messing with my Jordan style. I mean, my motion styles. I was going to say Jordans were clean right there. Those Jordans, those Tatum Jordans. I'm not going to lie. Those Tatum Jordans. Those are kind of clean. Tell me they're not, bro. Those Tatums are nice. Look at the flowers. Look at the, bro. The shoes look really good in the game. Okay, shoot like with new rhythm shooting. What the hell is rhythm shooting? Uh oh, they're gonna give a shooter better shooting. Lifelike shot accuracy and authentic shot accuracy. What does that mean? What does that mean? I like how the arm sleeve is bending, bro. Ooh, this game's gonna be fire, bro. Seamless dribble to shot controls. Yeah, yeah. So they're saying maybe pull ups are gonna be smoother, maybe. And like maybe shot accuracy means like when you're trying to actually fade this way, you will actually do it now instead of triggering a different animation. Maybe they're trying to get like animationless uh, basketball. When that if that makes sense, like you know, maybe your dribble pull ups are tied to your left stick movement now. I, I'm just talking. Don't I don't know what I'm talking about, bro. At this point. Okay, dribble. Fan. Oh yeah. Okay. They. Oh, it's Brawny. Of course they put Brawny in the trailer. Let's see. First look at Brawny's face scan. That's really good. They had him in there, didn't they? They had him in there. Uh, we're playing the Nuggets. Of course we're playing the Nuggets, bro. And why are we winning? Two K. Did Did you make us? We ahead or behind? It says a three. I'm guessing it's 23. Yeah, we were beating the Nuggets. Okay. All right. We finally got a gameplay trade. Uh, now it's time for more, bro. It's time for more. We got notifications from the man, Mike Wayne. Okay. New rhythm shooting? All right. Moves from their favorite NBA superstar. Let's see what we got, How man. Does pro stick rhythm shooting do that? Yeah, so pro stick rhythm shooting is probably one of my favorite features of the game. Because it's just a new way to play, new way to shoot. So okay. in the past, you thought it's always been the same, right? You hold a button down, release it to get to get your shot off. Uh oh. With pro stick People with Zen's not gonna be happy when they hear this. Rhythm shooting. What you want to do is you want to try to match the rhythm of the player's shot. Yeah. So you pull the right stick down, and when he gets to the, his set point, you push the right stick up in rhythm with how he shoots in real life. So if you master rhythm shooting, you can actually be much better than someone who's a traditional regular button shooter. Ooh, for real? Oh, that sounds fun. So basically what he's saying, let me get my controller, bro. What he's saying is this was going to happen. You're going to shoot, hold down, and then as soon as that ball gets to your forehead, you push up. I remember the old games used to be like that. Now you can still shoot with square. I've heard other people like, why would you do that? It's called fun. Who the hell shoots with the right stick? They just added something in that's not really going to make a difference or hurt you or anything. Don't be a hater. Just be happy in life. All right? So... That's another thing I'm, I'm hearing. You know how so many people were mad that their shot timing is changing? Why can't we just have one set, you know, shot timing? They're not going to like this because this is telling me that they're going further to that to try to mimic the game more. And I love it. It's going to be harder. Now, my fear is people are going to complain and then they're, they're going to like nerf something. They're going to nerf. I mean, they're going to buff shooting, bro. Just like they did last year. People are going to complain that it's too hard and the shot time is not the same because they just so used to 2K17 because it was like an arcade game and they liked it. This is where 2K24 is the best 2K they've ever made, bro. It's not even close. Now, nostalgia will tell me it's NBA 2K11, but this is the best game, bro. So it's only going to get better. Focus on the now. I I'm happy with where shooting is going. Rhythm shooting. 
All right. All right, let's see all the tweets he was talking about. All right, so this person asked, is rhythm shooting with the right stick going to be, have a bigger green window? Yeah, see, that's what I was wondering too, because he said it's going to be better, you know, than using the square button. This can't be compared because they work differently, because rhythm shooting takes more skill to master. There's a much higher upside for making shots. What does that mean? So if you're comp, you should definitely try to master rhythm shooting. What, so higher upside, does that mean bigger green window? I, I don't know. That was the question. Is there a bigger green window? He said they can't really be compared because they work differently. So maybe they're saying rhythm shooting doesn't have a green window. Maybe rhythm shooting, like if you make it, it doesn't green. Maybe it's like a greenless shot. People are not going to like that if it is. Meaning like when you shoot, you're not like looking to see if you greened it or not. Remember the old 2Ks? Like the older 2Ks, they didn't have green in the game. So maybe that's what a rhythm shooting is going to be. It's not going to have a green window, but it's going to be up to 2K. Yeah, do you trust 2K? I like it. Sometimes I do like to trust 2K. Like if you play trusting 2K, there might be some BS that happens, but they're just testing you because then eventually they'll feed you back. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If not, then just ignore me. Would love to better understand the shot timing profile concept uh okay so is that confirming whites to go in but only when missed timed and wide open so he's saying are we gonna be able to make whites with low risk reward you can still make shots if you're tight okay but the bonus for good timing is much smaller with high the shot green window is larger with oh wow okay <laughs> that's crazy this is this is smart by 2k and mike wayne to cater to the people who are just getting mad like oh i hated the game once it went to green or miss and some people are like oh i love green or miss now they said all right you could change your settings then if you want like if you don't want green or miss and you want to still be able to make whites turn on low risk reward if you if you want it to be green or miss turn on green window because guess what it's not it's exactly the same y'all just in your brains thinking it's not it's exactly the same the people that were like bring back green or miss I mean, uh, bring back, make it whites go in. All they're doing is lowering the green window. That's all it is. Your green window is going to be even smaller. So that's why you're going to be able to make some shots. I prefer the greener uh, miss thing, which is going to be with high. So go to high shot profile. That's the setting that's going to be called. Uh, no, you can't use real player percentage online. I remember that cheese. Oh, uh, we got Jamal Murray's jumper from, from pro play. They said they fixed Jamal Murray's jump shot. Oh my goodness. Thank God. Height and interior perimeter rating are much stronger factors in the contest calculation this year. Bro, you know what I'm worried about hearing this, bro? I love to make a 6-5 shooting guard every year. But the problem is now 2K is with the builder. They've made these taller guards and taller builds so overpowered that I'm the shortest player on the court. When in real basketball, 6-5 is not the, the smallest player in the court. That should never be the case. So if I'm 6'5 and everybody and there's a point guard that's 6'7, he should not be able to shoot over me, bro. He shouldn't. Because that he's cheesing the game. Who makes six seven point guards? That should not be allowed no more. I'm not gonna lie, they should bring back you could only make your point guard up to 6'4. It's now 6'5, okay? That's the tallest point guard you could make. I'm so tired of that that experiment needs to go away because that's cheesy. That's broken. As shooting guard, you should you should be able to make them six seven or below literally can't go above that you know small forward six eight to six ten power forward six nine to six uh, yeah you know what i'm saying like bro bring back stop bring the caps back because it's getting too crazy i'm just mad because my six five guards are not gonna be able to contest people when i'm just trying to play real basketball and people are cheesing and making the tallest builds possible come on man let's have some fun let's play basketball let the short kings out there dominate again. These little point guards, they're useless now when we see them in the NBA. Look at Reed Shepard. He's going to be good. Steph Curry, he's good. We don't see those builds no more because everybody wants to make the LeBron 6'8 point guard. All right, that's my rant. Yep. So, okay. So, basically what I was saying, rhythm shooting doesn't have green. It doesn't have slightly early. It doesn't have slightly late. It doesn't have late early. It doesn't have shot timings. It is not determined by that. It is. The, he's saying the bonus for it is just how closely you match it. You know, it's it's a green in your heart. You have to believe you timed it good and then it might go in. You won't even know. So for me, I like this because I turn my shot timing off anyway. So I don't even know if I, you know, it, I don't have that green release stuff on. So I'm guessing this is just not going to have a green window. And he's saying this is going to be OP this year. This scares me though. It does scare me. It does scare me. It kind of reminds me of like the shot aiming thing. 
but it's always fun to try it out. I like how they're putting new stuff in the game. It does scare me because it's not going to have a green window. So they might be able to make stupid shots. How does the condat? My question to him, how does, or maybe it does have a green window because this guy was just asking about jump point and set. I'm spending too much time on that. All right, we get into the next thing. He's in 2K Discord answering questions. W, Mike Wayne. How are free throws changes here? Have they changed? Free throws have been retuned based on feedback from last year. They work similar to last year, but free throw rating plays a bigger role in the calculation to prevent low rated free throw players from being overly effective. All right, so if you make a low free throw, you can't make it no more. I don't know. I just felt like free throws cheated last year. Just kidding. Are instant green animations back? I hope not, bro. I don't even like instant green animations, bro. I really don't. There's a new shot feedback option called Simple. Uh, this is on by default. This will display your timing feedback immediately once you release your shot. Okay, I could you could disable that. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, just make it so I can turn it off too. Like if somebody else wants something, let me still play the game normal, bro. Is the court player model ratio different? This is what we really need. We adjusted it to give players more room to operate. It's improved flow of the game allows for certain cuts that wouldn't happen because they get jammed up before. Uh oh, you know what? That might be a good thing because of the zone, bro. They got to kill that zone. There's the only way to do it is make it make the court bigger because they shouldn't be able to guard this man and this guy at the same exact time. You know, let's play real basketball. Make a decision. You're either guarding this guy or you're playing the gaps and giving up the shot. There's let's play real basketball at this point. You can't get back. I know some people are going to be so used to that. They're going to be pissed right away. But hey, 2K, do not fold to these non-basketball heads. That's all I got to say. The AI spacing engine also got a huge upgrade. Compared to just a few static locations last year, which I believe were the wings and the corners, and then uh, maybe the top, they would just like roam after that. So they're saying that maybe they'll stop and spot up at areas that need spacing. Um, so they're saying now over 20 dynamic adjustment locations, constantly feeding the AI a stream of spacing information, fire, okay. This helps AI teammates properly space to give you more room to isolate or work in a two minute game. I love this because I'm a 2K, uh, my career player, I'm a my career head. So I'm very happy that the AIs will now space the floor properly and I can get even more unique, realistic buckets. That's really what I want. How are shot meters changed? Shot meter works pretty differently. Okay, there are three options to choose from. Arrow, ring, and dial. Rather than freezing when you release the shot button, all of the meters animate from beginning to end. In sync with the ideal time to release the animation. Think of it more as a timeline of the shot animation rather than a traditional meter. I gotta see it to, I'd have, he probably just said it, they're making it smoother. The ideal time to release button is exact frame that the meter disappears from your screen. The meter disappears so they're saying it won't freeze it disappears so it's just there is like a crutch you know it's like a training wheel then it's gonna go away um make more sense when you try it. i feel like i know what you're talking about one of the main benefits of this change is that shot meters are much more accurate online bro the 2k don't even have to do all this bro they really don't they care about this i don't care what anybody says you know people they are way better than ea i'll tell you that EA don't change, bro. Look at NCAA football, bro. It's a whole different topic. That game pissed me off. It's the same as Madden. I'm a, you know, I, that's the same thing. I can't really talk about Madden because I don't have as much hours. When you have a lot of hours in a game, you will see the intricate details of a game, which is why I can see the int intricate details of 2K and how much stuff they're actually changing. So shout out to you guys, even though the whole community is going to be very hard on you. Are instant green animations back? Uh, we already seen that. Are there many changes to passing mechanics? Okay. Number of improvements, but the most is the lob pass. Thank God, because I love the lob pass and sometimes they're doing stupid stuff. The targeting on lobs is much better and it's really great for advanced passes or leading the receiver to the basket. I'm a passer. I literally have my, my point guard is 96 pass accuracy. Control wise, bounce lobs are now triggered. Oh. Ew, self lobs have been moved to circle or cross circle. What? What do you mean cross? Who calls X cross? That made me think a little bit. Okay, X is. What the hell? Okay, so they're saying bounce lobs are now triggered on their own. There's no button for them, so you can't accidentally throw a stupid bounce lob no more. So thank you for that. But now, if you want to throw a self lob, so they did fix that. You know when you're on a fast break, you got a teammate to your side and try to throw him a lob and you throw it to yourself? You can no longer do that because they move self lobs to X and circle. That's a W. That's a W. I love that. Thank God because, bro, I want to get freaking transition. I'm trying to 
go between my legs and lob it off to him behind me, lob it to the dude behind me, and I can't because I lob it to myself. And I have a 25 dunk. Why would my character do that? So thank you for changing that. Any changes to layup and dunk timing? Layup timing is optional and disabled, uh, but I recommend turning it on if you want to gain an advantage as a slasher. Huh? I turned my layup timing off because I thought it gives you a boost, but I guess not. Just like shots, there are separate layup timing. Real percentage, low, normal, and high. You can customize it, okay? Dunk timing is always on for skilled dunks, but you can still dunk without using the med, okay? So instead of the window for the dunk meter being determined, at the start of the dunk, it adjusts throughout the dunk to um, better reflect the defensive impact. So meaning when a defender is about to contest. So you know when like you're going up for a dunk, right? With the shot meter and the green window is super small and there's nobody around you. Like there's somebody in your area, but they're not contesting you yet. They change that. So now it's going to be super big, but when they start contesting you, it's going to shrink and you're going to be able to see it. So basically, you're not going to get mad when you think you missed the green when you really didn't because the meter was like, you know, in Mike, word, in Mike Wayne's words, freezes. The meter no longer freezes. It's going to be a lot smoother. So people are going to be a lot happy about that. How does shot feedback work for rhythm shooting? When they, This is what I want to know. When using rhythm shooting, there are two main factors to consider. Push timing and tempo? Push timing is the point you start to move the pro stick, which you'll want to do the moment your player reaches the set point of the shot. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, I gotta read this. I, I don't understand it, hold on. Basically, what I think they're saying is, he's saying it's gonna be a lot slower. So you know when like you when you shoot something, the meter's hella fast, but you're still going up. Like I think basically rhythm shooting is gonna be a lot smoother for players who like to shoot like this. Like for example, if I'm trying to shoot a shot, I'm going, you know, like that. I used to put it on really late uh, timing just so I could feel like it's realistic. But now they're saying now we're really doing it. This kind of reminds me of like NBA Live 07, NBA Live 08, NBA Live 06. You could shoot free throws like that. You go down and up. So they're putting that into the entire shooting system. I think it's going to be cool. A lot of people are not going to use it. So hopefully, please, 2K, don't take it out because people don't use it and don't like it because they could just turn it off. For the people that want to use it, we might not be talking about it, but we like it. So keep it in the game regardless, bro. Um, they're saying if you're shooting with Kyle Anderson, it's going to be really slow because you got to match his rhythm. Basically, you're matching the rhythm of the game instead of thinking about, okay, my timing, just wait till it gets to one certain point. Like I'm just looking for my set point. No, now you're looking at his whole arm movement and everything. Right, Stick, you're matching the arm movement. Arm movement up. It's going to be smooth and real shooters going to love it. It's going to be very difficult, but he's saying there's a big reward to it. I'm for sure going to master it. That's all I know. First build I'm making in 2K. My 6'5", 3 and D shooting guard. Not as high as I can. Shooting high as I can defense. And I'm going to be in that gym practicing my shot. Let me know what kind of, kind of build you guys make it on NBA 2K25. How you guys feeling about the game? Again, shout out to LE2K for following me on Twitter and the game last night. This is Zite. Peace.